Hi, welcome to the Mill Lodge virtual tour. So you've got a lovely sign and we're going just to the speed walk into the front doors. Going through the front doors, a little welcome there, that's sweet, isn't it? And then we've got some artwork and this is the reception area, you know, it's where I suppose you first come in. We've got a little corridor, interview rooms on your left. You can have meetings in there with, I don't know, your key worker, other people, important people. Go through the double doors, you've got doctor's office and then you've got your MDT room. MDT stands for multidisciplinary team. This means that different professionals that work here, for example, psychologists and doctors, dietitians and other healthcare professionals that are listed on screen, they meet and once a week on Tuesdays to discuss your admission and how it's going, to make plans to ensure you're making progress towards health. You can make, you can ask questions and make comments or requests. You get a little sheet to do this on and your team will respond to this in the meeting and you can attend if you want, but you don't have to, no pressure. Okay, come out of the MDT room and then we've got a school room. Yes, we've got school here, you can't escape. So we've got a teacher and they can work with your actual school to see if you need work sending, if you need any exams doing, but don't worry, don't stress because you can talk through with the teacher about higher education or stuff that you might want to do or might not want to do. Uh, so we've got computers and stuff, that's a beach up garden by the way, I'll get back to that. Uh, and we've got another second school room because more computers, you can't have enough. And books, more books, a few more books and one more book. And then we've got a table because you need tables, you need things to write on. And then we're going to go out here and... And as if by magic, we're back in the beach at garden. So you can have visits in here with your family. You can bring pets, which I think is really cool. Uh, you've got a little fairy garden in there. You've got veggie pots. You can do some gardening if you want. If you have stuff, you can come out here. And there's some sensory plants. And this is the uh, main attraction. It's the beach hut. There's some nice comfy seats in here. That egg chair, very nice. You can sit in here, like I say, with your family, and it's just a nice area to have a visit. I think it's a nice outside space to have. Uh, yeah, so back on the corridor. Well, there's the courtyard. You can walk around there in the, in the daytime if you want, but we'll get back to that. We've got another set of double doors, because we love double doors here. And then we've got the laundry room. You can do your laundry whenever you want, whenever you need. You just ask staff and they'll help you. We've got detergent here. You can bring your own if you really want, but it's got to be locked in this room. Uh, and then we come out and then we've got the piano area. It's got a swanky little keyboard. It should be called the keyboard area, really. It's got a very comfy sofa. That sofa is surprisingly comfortable. And then we go into the night area. So this is where all the bedrooms and the shower rooms are. Uh, this is an example of a shower room. It's shared uh, and you've got, you know, shower, toilet, all the basics. Uh, you can bring your own shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel, etc, etc, if you'd like to. Uh, you can get them here, but if you like your own particular scents or something, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll just come out here and, uh, oh, that's a little view of the courtyard. We'll go in there a bit later. Um, so the routine around place is you would weekdays go to bed at uh, 10 and hand your phones in when you go to bed and weekends so Friday and Saturday would be half 10 and then you're expected to be woke up you get woken up by staff and wake up for 8am and move then into the day area again um, sometimes you get a lion depending on uh, how you're feeling then if we just snap back to where we were, we'll just take a little gander down the boys' corridor, the one we were just up where you could see the other view of the beach at garden. That was the girls' corridor, this is the boys' corridor, and here's a little example of what your room might look like. So, this is your bedroom, fun fact, you've got a dimmable light switch, which I think is pretty cool. You've got a whiteboard, desk, you've got a sink, storage space to keep your stuff bedding, you can customise it, you can bring some from home if you like, uh, you don't have to. You, these are just examples of some useful things you might bring, so like a bag from the day to night, night to the day area, <laughs> blanket, electronics, uh, you can bring books and more electronics like these if you keep them in the office. So this is just a little look around that uh, courtyard that's in all of in the middle of all of the bedrooms. Uh, things that we'd ask you not to bring, things like aerosols, razors, glass. Um, you can have sort of things that aren't allowed in your room if you keep them in the office and you are allowed them at maybe certain times, but always check with staff. 
and this is just a little walk into the back garden so this is accessible from the night area and it's just a big open space really uh, it's used sometimes there's a little bit of time up there they used to play tennis sometimes uh, this place is quite nice if you want if you like the outdoors and you want to just sort of breathe a bit it's got nice fresh air and it's different games and sometimes there's groups out here and back through the piano area, you know this already, you're a pro. So on the left of this corridor, you've got quite a lot of offices for staff, but right here you've got the quiet lounge. It's not necessarily a female quiet lounge anymore. Um, you've got some sensory toys in that cupboard if you need them. And it's a bit of a quieter space away from the rest of the unit if you need just some time away on your own or with staff. And then the next room along down is the therapeutic kitchen. You can organise to cook things with staff or to, you know, bake things and just have that time. Uh, the next one is the treatment room. So obviously this is more for the medical side. You might have your physical obs done here. You might go in there to have a chat with a doctor or things like that. It's not that intimidating, don't worry. Everyone's really lovely. Uh, some artwork, fancy artwork. You've got toilets, patient toilets, and a water cooler. That is actually quite nice because it does give you ice cold water. And now we're in the dining room. So this is obviously where we have our meals. So breakfast is served at 8.30, morning break is at 10.30, lunch at 12, afternoon break at 3, tea at 5, and supper between half 8, 9-ish. That's the hatch. It's kind of like a village hall. That's where uh, food comes from. It's a nice area, some decoration on the wall. That was some DIY tyres, don't mind that. Uh, here's the small dining room if you should need it. There's a TV that plays films and a little beverage bay where you can make your own drinks. Uh, you've got hot water on tap, so that should always be accessible and you can have teas, coffees, things like that. And then we go into the lounge. So immediately when you come into the lounge, you've got a little TV there with a PlayStation and a Wii you can play games on. This bookcase here is full to the brim of games and books and more games. And then you've got the main TV, little social area, nice comfy sofas and some nice decorations. Those paper cranes, believe it or not, have been up there for ages. Those purple boxes, they're, every young person has one if they want to keep the stuff in. And this is the timetable, so that's got obviously schooling and when different groups are. If you want a different group or a new thing or want to try something, just speak to one of the occupational therapists or actually anyone to be fair, and they might be able to make a group out of it. We always want to do activities that you guys want to do. And this is the courtyard. So the courtyard is accessible from the lounge pretty much all the time. Uh, if the doors are locked, you can usually ask and the stuff will open for you because it is nice to be able to get fresh air when you want. It's uh, I think it's a really good area. You've got a little punching bag there if you fancy a little spot. And yeah, we just come in back round, uh, back round full circle and there's a little chalkboard if you fancy writing anything chalk. And then I guess that's pretty much it. We're just going inside and back through to reception and uh, pretty much big circle this building. I hope we've uh, eased some worries or answered some questions if you had any queries. And yeah, I just, just remember that this place is quite friendly and it's got some nice zebras in it. Okay, bye! <laughs>